They're known as the oyster men of the Fal. Using just wind and oar, they've dredged these waters for hundreds of years. Nearly all their catch goes to the EU, but on the 1st of January, their livelihood was banned. We thought we were going to carry on after Brexit. The markets supposedly were sorted, and they've, they've slammed the door in my buyer's face. Since Brexit, the EU has stopped British fishermen from selling oysters, mussels, clams and scallops to member states. It's a devastating blow for Tim, who's been doing this for 50 years. If I never had a bit of money in the bank and my wife wasn't working, I think we'd be out, out of an house, you know? It's that serious since Brexit? Yeah, yeah. I, there's, there's people in here who's turned turned to drink because of the strength of this. Don't know where to go, what to do, how to pay their bills. We sail over to Jonathan on the other side of the foul. He's been dredging oysters since 1975 and says that if the EU won't overturn the ban, a new market must be found. We've got a reservoir of skills, knowledge, boats and given a little bit of encouragement, a, a fishery that would probably produce twice as much and everybody earning twice as much if we had markets and it was worked intelligently. But at the moment, there's little hope. Before Brexit, these oysters were being exported to the EU, but the trade stopped overnight. The amount of money might not be massive when it comes to headline GDP, but they're real people's jobs, livelihoods, mortgage payments, and it's all gone. The ban applies to shellfish caught in so-called Class B water. Purifying it first would allow exports, but the industry says that's not viable. With no exports and no restaurants open, sellers have relied on local support. But they want the government to fight. Get a move on. Uh, sort it out. Uh, you know, get some stanima. Get over to Europe. Sort it out. You know, we want direct ex uh, direct answers to direct questions. The government told us it's unacceptable the EU has changed its position on shellfish, with the Environment Secretary calling for an urgent resolution. What's your feeling about the future, then? Blake, I retire this year, and uh, that, that might all be finished, I don't know. Dan Whitehead, Sky News, in Falmouth.